So. Yep. Try my little sprayer out. It's kind of messy. Too messy. No, I don't have. So since I don't have the plaster, plastic, I can't really use this. I go out and buy plastic then, but I don't want to spend the money. I haven't really spent the money. So I went back to how we used to do it. We made this little like potato gun, but soon I'll make this and this will be for spring. Whoa, we don't want that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't good. All right, so I guess I'm gonna be out of the camera for a second here. I gotta get a drill. Gotta drill this hole. So, what I got here is an air hose. Got a brake line on it. One of your bottom of the line. Oh, it's even got a wood screw in it. <laughs> All right. Cheapy. You can put a bigger pipe on there. But I'm gonna go a little bit slow, so I drilled this hole right here. And stick that down in there like that. But I gotta cut it off. So if I stick it all the way through, it should stick through so it can't it's outside. Cause once you get like this, then you could whatever control it better uh, you'd be able to control it so let's see oh, I guess I cut it right there start getting wild it's like one of those times you, you cut you starting to do something you know, it's like well if I take this path man I don't know if it's gonna work out right but it's a shorter path so you 
you take it and then you find yourself getting all locked down. I gotta shove it through, that's off. <laughs> so I might have to put a little tape on the ah. that one not good. Alright, now for the mix. Your mix is kind of important. You want it. Well, if I was had all this on there, I'd go with a real thin mixture at first. And then increase it to thicker. But you gotta put what's up. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, I usually me measure this stuff out. Yeah. I was thinking I had a cup, a cup and a quarter. Yeah, it's almost about half. And uh, let's see. I was thinking put, put some rocks in it, but you know what? I don't know. I'm gonna just. I think I'm gonna wait on that. We'll just. I'll put the cement mix in. Or the plaster Paris in. This is where it's going to start turning white. I always, I always use Portland or cement mix. I know I'm going to keep it for a while. Because no matter what thickness cement is, it gets hard. It's, it's, Doing something, I don't know. Just all those times when my mind went blank. Ah, getting in a hurry, I feel it. What do you do when you feel like you're getting in a hurry? Yeah. So, I got a mixture. Where is my stir stick? In the water. Oh, the stir stick's in the bucket. Yeah, I got one of those deals that your stuff could be right in front of me and I wouldn't even see it until I walk away and then I gotta come back. And there it is, off to the side. Or just couldn't see it. Well, the train track I was using disappeared. Oh, no, it didn't. That's right, I did find it. 
It's over there. It's all white now. That's a tough little piece of track. I don't want to get it too soon. I haven't even tested this gun yet, so I don't even know if it's going to work like it. But I'm pretty sure it's going to work because I remember using something like that on mine. And I was... Like a, my first train I seen, I think I was six. That's the first uh, of model trains. Your what's your first what's your first memory of trains? Mine is around five or six. Dad had train set downstairs. The table was about that high, so my fingers went on there. And what I seen was two Santa Fe engines going off the table. I still remember that. And to this day, the family still has them two engines. I, I gave them the mic. I don't know if they're here or not. So them things are 42 years old. Them model trains. Is, so... Uh, this is kind of thin. Actually, wait, I think I got it. So I'm going to turn this off for a minute. 